Hello and welcome to a video demonstrating the steps from KB article 1008127 where I'll be showing you how to configure ASXi host networking via the command line. My name is Ben, I'm a support engineer for the NSXT virtual networking team. The following steps can be very useful when recovering connectivity to an ASXi host that has been knocked offline or lost connectivity to vCenter. One thing to note is that vSwitch configuration can be done via the command line at any time. However, for remote networking to the host is lost, you will need a way to access the host locally to carry out these steps. For this demonstration, I will be using this host, ESX01. And if we look at its networking configuration, we can see its management VM kernel is on a port group using VLAN 115 and it is online through VMNIC1. So we're going to knock this host offline by pulling out VMNIC1. It will take a moment to reflect in vCenter. However, if we check via vCenter's shell, we can see that we're not getting anything back from the host. So the next step is to access the host locally. First thing to do is log in as root. F2 and then troubleshooting options. And make sure ESXi shell is enabled. So currently disabled, but I will enable it. And once enabled, you can get to the shell by pressing Alt F1. Then log in as root again. So what we're going to need to do is create a new standard switch with a standard port group with VLAN 115. We're then going to need to give that new switch an uplink and we'll recreate the management VM kernel on this new switch to bring it back online. So the first step is to create the new vSwitch. vSwitch name, we're gonna call it temp underscore vSwitch. We're then going to add a port group specify its name, we're going to call it temp port group. And we're applying that port group to our temp fee switch. We're then going to give a VLAN to that port group, in this case 115, because that is our management VLAN. Now, if we check the switch configuration on the host, ESX EFG, ESX EFG v switch dash L, you can see at the top we have our new temp v switch with temp port group with VLAN ID 115 and currently zero used ports. So the next thing to do is add an uplink to this v switch. If you have a spare uplink, you can use that, just make sure it is trunked with the correct VLAN further upstream on the network. If you do not have any spare uplinks, you will need to take an uplink from an existing switch. I have a spare uplink because that is the one I, I pulled out earlier to take the host offline. So I'll be using that one again. However, if you don't have a spare uplink, there are commands in the KV article to remove an uplink from an existing switch and then we can use that on our new switch. So if you're removing from a standard vSwitch, this is the command. And if you're removing from a distributed vSwitch, this is the command. So you can check the list of VMNICs available to you with the following command. USXCLI network NIC list see I have two here, I'm going to be using VMNIC1. Oh, 
link name, dm equal one, and we're putting it on vSwitch name temp underscore vSwitch. Now, if we check the configuration again, esxcfg vSwitch shell, we can see we now have vmnic1 on our temporary vSwitch. So the next step is to figure out which VM kernel is to manage from VM kernel. And you can do this by checking the tags on VM kernels. I know it was VMK0, but to check, you can use ESXCLI, network IP interface tag, get I, and then the VM kernel number. So you can see in this case, the management tag is on VMK0. So we're not going to move this as such. We're actually going to remove this and recreate VMK0 on our new switch. But before we do that, we want to note its configuration details. So we get it right. ASXCFG VMKNIC-L. And you can see VMK0, it's actually in the middle there. We want to note its IP, 192.168.115.31. It's network mask and it's IP type, which is static in this case. So the next step is to remove the existing VMK0. ESX CLI, network IP, interface remove, and then the interface name. And you can now see VMK0 is gone from this list. And now we are going to recreate VMK0 on our temp port group with VLAN 115. First name, VMK0, port group name. Now, if we check the switch configuration, you can see we now have one used port on our standard vSwitch, temp vSwitch up at the top there. Now we want to configure the new VMK0 with the correct configuration details. Specify the interface name, VMK0. The IPv4 address. The network mask. And the type. Just static. Now we have configured VMK0. We can check its configuration details. And we can see VMK0 is configured with all the details that we provided. So this should provide the host's management VM kernel with um, network connectivity once again. If we go back to vCenter, and we ping the host, you can see where you're getting a response. The vCenter GUI may take a moment longer to respond and you will have this warning from when network connectivity was lost initially. This can simply be reset to green. And that is it, you've restored connectivity to the host. You can reconfigure the host's networking as desired through vCenter now. Thank you for watching.